Hey, howdy, hey, my friends. Amika Westerfield, independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here. I am doing the following videos the on the coloring for the Hippest Hippos stamp set. So this is the final coloring segment. So we are gonna call this video 2C of the Hippest Hippos card. And we are using our watercolor pencils. Stampin' Up's watercolor pencils are actually quite amazing. You can color them as regular pencils or you can use them um, with water <clears throat> to create a watercolored effect. So I had already stamped the hippopotamus in the stays on ink and that's the ink you want to use when you're watercoloring. And the way that we're gonna do this is I'm going to start, there isn't the exact colors, well there's flirty flamingo, but the other colors aren't exact to match the uh, petal pink in some of them. So I'm gonna blend a little bit to get the effect I want. I am actually starting with the Mellow Mambo on the skirt, and let's see if I can zoom in just a skosh. Mm, let's see here, let's go to two. All right, okay. So on the skirt here, I start by going around the edges of the skirt, and I am pressing just a little bit dark because I do want a pop of pink on this. And I'm going to blend it with the Flirty Flamingo, which is actually the color in the card. So this skirt is going to be a little pinker than some of our other skirts, but that's okay. I just want to show you different effects that you can have. So I'm lightly coloring the middle with a Flirty Flamingo, and I'm taking the Calypso Coral and going over that. Just little circles. I just colored little circles. I'm not actually pressing down that hard. You get the depth of color by coloring more layers. Press, the pressure is slightly harder, but you don't want to push so hard that you indent your paper. Now on the little elephants, I keep calling it an elephant, my gosh, the hippopotamus's ears, I'm coloring the inside with Calypso Coral. And then on the nails, I am going to do the Flirty Flamingo on the little nails like this. And I'm going to do a light layer on the point shoes with the Flirty Flamingo, just very, very light. And I'm going to cover, go over that with Calypso Coral. And then I'm going to add the white, the Whisper White, to go over that part of it and just to go over the skirt a little bit. All right, and then I think I want my nails a little bit brighter, so let's pull up Melon Mambo and do the nails with a little darker hit. Now, on this particular one, I'm going to do like I did before on the Wink of Stella to add a little extra glimmer, but I want to blend it in because you can see how it's kind of scribbly lines there. I'm using my thinner of the um, water painters, and I'm going to start with the ears and just gently do inside of those. My apologies. I have this set up when it zooms, it's further away from me than I need it to be. Then I'm gonna go over the nails like that. And then the little point shoes. I'm gonna go over the point shoes right here like this. So do you see how that kind of smoothed out the color in those areas? I'm gonna hold this up here and try to do a little more. Then the next step that I'm gonna do is the skirt. So when I'm doing the skirt, I'm going gently, I don't want too much water because again, I'm not working with watercolor paper. This is just Whisper White cardstock. So it's not really designed to absorb and hold a lot of color, or a lot of water. Color, yes, water, no. So I just kind of circle it around. So you see how that turned out? It's kind of pretty, right? I like the. I like the different variations in the pink on the skirt whenever I use the watercolor pencils. Now, I'm going to take uh, just a napkin that I've been using on all my projects and just wipe it off so I don't get pink in my brush on when I do the grays next. So on the grays, we actually have only two, we have basic gray and then we have basic black and then we have whisper white. So these are the three colors I'm gonna use to, to create my grays. On the areas that were darker, I'm gonna start with the basic black. Let me lower this a little bit here. There we go. On the basic black, and I'm just gonna go around the edges of the head because that part was a darker shade down the side of the mouth. 
between the eyes and actually I'm gonna hit the ears just a little bit then the arms were also a darker shade so I'm gonna go around the edges of this just to create a little bit more depth and the same thing with her legs and then this little part that goes underneath the skirt I'm gonna hit with the black a little bit more because there's the shadow of the skirt and then this arm as well then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my basic gray and I'm going to color this all in so whenever I'm coloring I'm just going back and forth but I'm making little bitty baby circles as I go it's kind of hard to tell but there's little bitty baby circles being made here and then on the arm as well and I might even add a little bit more of the black pencil the basic black pencil in some of these areas just to make the color stand out more a little bit more intense on where I want a darker gray but you can always add more you can't take away so we'll start with this and if we need to add more in a few minutes we will now on this I'm actually just going ahead because the pencils are dry so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm coloring lightly shading the snout of this hippo, this hip is tippo, as we say, or at the beginning of the elephant. Oh, sorry. Coloring it in like that. I apologize for my dog. So I'm going to color it in like that. And the next step that I'm going to do is I'm going to take the whisper white and I'm going over this a little bit on the lighter areas and just a skosh on the lighter areas of the face and stuff. Okay, same thing with this. We're going to take the water painter and I'm going to go around the top of the ears first. From, from here, I'm going to start coloring around the eyes. And I'm holding this up in the air so it's kind of wonky. Oh my gosh, this guy is so cute. These little hippos are so darn cute. Aren't they adorable? I would love if they did a whole series of exactly this artwork for like elephants and stuff like that I think he's so fun all right then I'm gonna do the arms and some of this on the blending I'll have to go back in and blend a little differently and better but do you see how the water is picking up the watercolor pencils and spreading that out and up here I want that blended a little bit more so I might go back in later with uh, my watercolor pencil and just add a little bit more depth. Now you notice the parts that I was more of a straight line color versus the little baby circles. Those are a little bit harder to blend. So just a reminder to yourself, do little bitty baby circles as you're coloring in. And that'll help a lot. All right, so now we get this part done and we're just gonna finish this. And one thing I did on all the other cards that I forgot to mention, all the other cards I did take a little bit of pink so if I was using the stamping blends or if I was using the many marvelous markers with the water painter and I went over the smile on her mouth so it's like she had lipstick on because we dancers always wear stage makeups so that the um, stage lights don't drown out and wash out all the features on her face oh is that cute so I'm gonna go ahead and take this just one of the pinks and go over her mouth just a little and since it's wet, I don't really need to worry about it too much, but I am going to go over it a hit there. So that is how she looks. That's using watercolor pencils. And like I said, you could go back in and touch up different areas lightly with your watercolor pencil, but I'm actually okay with how she looks. I think she's sweet. I am going to add the Wink of Stella because, you know, we have to have our sparkle. So the same as I did on the other ones, you just take your Wink of Stella and go over the areas that you want a little glimmer. And it goes on and it dries. And I think on all the others I did the nails and I did the skirt. So we're gonna do the same thing here. Cool beans, so that is the final coloring, watercolor pencils. And I did use pencils from both watercolor pencils one and two. There's two different um, packages of them. The standard one has a few more and then they, they added on the assortment too where there's a few more colors. So they're good to blend together. All right, my friends, next step is the cutting and embossing. See you soon.